Right, uh, um, when you talk about variant of concern, um, basically the virus actually mutate. What concern us most as a public health practitioner is whether this variant of concern will enhance its pathogenicity or enhance its ability to spread in the community. Right, and then the third concern is whether the existing vaccine that we are having now can manage to uh, inhibit the viral replication of this variant. So these are the parameters that we, we uh, are concerned most. Right? Um, but then when you talk about the diagnostic, so this variant concern most of the time, we can still use the existing uh, technology to detect these variants. Uh, of course, there are exceptions. Like for example, we do know that um, some of the RTP cell assay may not able to detect um, some of the variants. Um, so um, that is a problem. Of course, um, that is not the end of the day because we have so many different types of a diagnostic tests out or different types of RTP cell assay, which can be used to detect um, this uh, particular variant. So uh, I, I'm not too concerned about it. Maybe at the beginning, we may miss a couple of cases, but then uh, when we know that there's some, like for example, RTP cell assay, if the assay, um, the, the variant have some mutations, so the primer used in the rt pcr assay cannot able to recognize that mutate, mutated region. We can always design a new primer or try to use other assay which target different region of the viral genome so that we can still manage to detect the variant. So uh, I'm not particularly concerned about it. Of course, um, under the condition that um, there are many groups try to monitor or doing surveillance to monitor um, the evolution of this virus in the community around the globe. So influenza viruses cause seasonal um, epidemics. So we have these um, winter peaks and in subtropical places like Hong Kong, we have winter and summer peaks even. And this is just something that we've come to accept um, because these viruses change every year. We have to update our vaccines to, to stay up to date. SARS coronaviruses are a little bit different to influenza because they don't change at such a frequent rate. We are seeing these emerging variants because we're infecting across the population. So there's more chances for change to come out. So I think that influenza viruses are a little bit different to SARS coronaviruses in that we probably have to be vaccinated more often for influenza viruses than we do for SARS coronaviruses. But I think that based on what we know for the common cold viruses, we will become reinfected with SARS coronavirus 2 and we will need to be vaccinated again over the next few years. I think the biggest threat to the vaccination campaign is this um, unfounded doubt so that people are thinking that the vaccine programs aren't going to be effective, but they will be. So I think it's really important to see these vaccines as a hope so that we can get past this crazy reality that we're all living in at the moment. And I think that we really need people to take up the vaccines so that we don't have those variants emerge. If we only partially vaccinate the population and we have people still becoming infected, the virus has more chances to change. If you use the current vaccine response, which is still effective against the emerging viruses now, you can cut that virus short so it doesn't continue to um, adapt and change. So I think it's really important to have widespread vaccination. We need everyone to get vaccinated and we need to people to not be scared because these vaccines have been used in hundreds of millions of people. And I think in Hong Kong, that is what's holding back the vaccine campaign and our ability to get back to normal life.